Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Helot RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and I've got a good list for you today. Actually, I, I reshot this because every, I, I reshot it twice. This is my third time trying to make this list. I'm trying to think of the top five best overall couples campers under 30 feet. You realize that is a stacked deck. Every time I'm like, I got it, I nailed it. I would sit down and be like, oh man, how does that one not belong on the list? And actually what ended up happening, we got a bunch of ties today because there's a bunch of manufacturers that build a really similar floor plan that are just utter dynamite. And how do you how do you really pick just one? Sometimes I understand why people spend two, three years searching for these things because sometimes it's it's so tough. Sometimes there's a couple things that are just so, so good that I just I, I didn't even I didn't even know where to take it. Now normally I, uh, before we get to our number one, I will hit a couple honorable mentions. And just because the way they fell on this one, I kind of want to get this one out of the way first. In a sense, I'm kind of disqualifying, but I still want to bring some attention to three specific trailers. That is, uh, the 22 MLS Keystone Cougar, the 252 RBS Freedom Express, and the 2516S Rockwood Mini Light. These three things absolutely belong in these lists. This, these are rock star stud level trailers. But I've already kind of given them their own kind of day in court, their own special day in the sun. When, it, when we did our top five brand new uh, 2021 travel trailer floor plans that I put out there, five of my favorites in that category. And I don't want to just keep rehashing the same thing all over. Like, I, I think you get it. I think that you understand. I'm very impressed with those models. Um, I will leave links to those and anything else that we mentioned today in the video description, by the way, if, if you didn't see that top 521 uh, new release video, that's a good chance for you to get to check those out. But there is one special honorable mention I want to put out today, and that's the new Rockwood Signature 8263 MBR. This has, they, they somehow snuck it under 30 feet. It's 29 feet 11 inches, and a couple of those things will be. But it gives us a king bed and master bathroom suite and outside camp kitchen all sorts of glory luxury features and the only reason it's not i think in this list proper is just because of the size the layout um and and the the price vectors i think that it's a little bit beyond where it's beyond the reach of some folks it's a little bit more of a specialized type camper and purchase but it absolutely deserves taking a quick look the rockwood 8263 mbr Oh my gosh, the sun is shining, I am feeling fine, and this new Rockwood has blown my mind. 7,465 pounds as we see it today. This is the all new 8263 MBR Rockwood. You hear MBR, it almost sounds like middle bunk bonus room. This is a middle bedroom. This is the newest member of what they call the Rockwood Suite Series, which is not a technical different series. This is a Rockwood signature, but it'll make sense when we get inside. This feels like a little vacation luxury suite that you get to tow with you. You don't have to leave it behind. <laughs> and being a Rockwood signature, this is the top level Rockwood. This is where they pull out all the stops. They literally raise the roof on this thing. It is uh, six foot nine inside plus a vaulted ceiling to give it a huge open feel, big king bedroom slide, like a fifth wheel double sink rear bath and a very unconventional, but I think very, very compact, functional and cool kind of combination front kitchen living room that actually might look very familiar to you. It's something that they have previously utilized in the 2442 BS Rockwood fifth wheel. This is, in a lot of ways, that same kind of fifth wheel adapted to a travel trailer platform. And man, it's days like today where I get to appreciate my job because this is awesome. All right, so getting into our primary list, we've got number five. The Grey Wolf 23MK, and this one comes in two forms. Uh, either way, it's still the 23MK, but you got the standard series with the uh, aluminum corrugated siding, and then you've got that beautiful, snexy black label package, which swaps out the skin for that high gloss fiberglass. But it's more than just that. There's frameless windows, there's solid surface counters, there's some other really good content in here. And the reason I picked this one, because uh, there, there's like Wildwood builds a version, Catalina builds a version, plenty of other people have started copying this. First of all, Cherokee, that 23MK, they're really the ones that, uh, they're kind of the originator of this floor plan, and they're the ones that made it popular, and they have continued to improve it every year. Like that new camp kitchen type arrangement they have, like it just, 
Every year they keep making it a little better, and that's why for me, it was my number five. Hello and welcome to Halo RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd, and this is a Black Label Edition 23 MK Grey Wolf. As you see it here today, it comes in just around the 5,700 pound mark. It weighs a little more and costs a little more than a standard series 23 MK Grey Wolf. The Black Label Edition though, you get a lot of really cool features for it like that awesome looking fiberglass and those frameless windows and that's a lot of what i'm going to be focusing on today this is going to be a lot quicker flyby video than we normally have here for you here at halitz but we've already got a fully informative walkthrough video of a 23 mk gray wolf in the standard series so here's what i'd really like you folks to do as we go through this video i'm going to point out the differences between them Leave us some comments and let us know what you like, If or leave me a comment, let me know if you have any questions or some something I've said wrong that causes some kind of confusion. I've done that before. And then uh, I'm going to leave you a link down in the video description where you can see the other video of the standard 23MK Grey Wolf, which will probably answer more questions that I haven't answered in this one. And then leave us a comment, let us know which one gets your vote. Do you like it in standard series simplicity, or do you love it in that black label luxury? Now moving on, number four. Very similar size and category, but the Wildwood 22 RBS. This is the smallest of the full Wildwoods, not the X-Lite series. So it's got the taller ceiling, uh, it, it's got great storage, heated belly, those jack leg stabilizers that I love. But this has, I don't even know exactly what it is on this one for me, because there's a few other companies that certainly build a similar model there's something in the water on that 22. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know if it's just the slight nudge in size to give us that cool Swiss Army Super Sofa L Lounge thing that I'm, I just love all the time. I, I can't even tell you what it is. I just know that for me, it's a solid number four on our list today. 5,850 pounds, the extremely popular and well-executed 22 RBS Wildwood here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This, I think, is the definition of 10 pounds of couples camp and sugar in a five pound sack. We'll talk some highs and some lows along the way. It has, well, it's under 30 foot. It has an insane amount of storage, nice wide open living space. And if we're being fair, it does lack a little bit on door side windows, but that is the only box it does not check. And if you appreciate that kind of straightforward sh uh, chit chat at this thing, definitely hit the subscribe button and join along with us as we first dive into our hail it in a hurry floor plan in a flash, and then we get into some more details. Now, when I got to number three, this is this is where it got really muddy. I have a four-way tie for number three in our top five couples campers under 30 feet. And I want to explain this. I'm not going to blast you with like multiple mini segments here. Uh, we are going to see a quick look at the 192 RBS Freedom Express. But right in that same category, the 2109S Rockwood Mini Light. Basically, same floor plan, but Freedom Express and Rockwood's versions of it. Freedom Express has the taller ceiling. They've got the true queen. Um, they've got a uh, forced air heated belly. They've got really good things going on in there that I really, really like. But Rockwood, they've got the double as Dell. They've got that awesome factory solar inverter package to go with their 12 volt refrigerators. They've got tank heaters. They've got that sweet suspension. How do you choose one between the two of those? Just Flip a coin. I really, if you twisted my arm, I don't know that I could come up with which one I like better. But on a similar token, uh, in that same sofa slide, front bed, open concept design, how do we not also acknowledge the theater seat versions of those, like the 2205S Rockwood Mini Light and the 22RBS uh, Keystone Cougar? So that that Rockwood, you step up to a true queen and a theater seat, awesome storage space again that good suspension the tank heater pads but the cougar it's a little heavier a little more money but it gives us a king bed it gives us standard power jacks a superior uh weather package just carpetless i mean how do you choose one between the four of those 
they all have things that I just couldn't, I just, I just couldn't separate them. So I want to give you a quick look at the 192 Freedom Express, but I will leave links to all four of those because, again, I, I understand why sometimes it is really hard for folks to narrow us down. Those things are amazing. Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan with a personal favorite today. I love this one. Comes in about 4,375 pounds and either I'm being blinded by the future that you're going to have with this Freedom Express or more likely just the sunlight glaring into my eyes. Good news is you're not standing over there across from me where uh, you'd be blinded by the light reflecting off my forehead. Five head? Let's take a look. The, the light colors inside the taller ceiling makes this little camper not look and feel so little, but at the size and the weight, it's better than just half ton towable. Bigger SUVs, smaller pickups, you'll be able to handle this thing well, without having to feel like you're sacrificing on big RV features, it has great storage. Taller people like me, you'll enjoy the true queen bed and the uh, shower you can actually stand in. It also has roof solar prep, uh, cool camp griddle situation going on, as well as an enclosed heated underbelly for some awesome extended season use. There is a laundry list of sweet features that go into these, and I can't wait till we really dive in because like what they've done, with uh, like the storage on the bed. This thing it is the best it's ever been. And coming in at number two, this one is one that I really like. I think it's kind of an unsung hero. I think that because the floor plan is so common, the 26 RBS Keystone Cougar doesn't always get a lot of glory. But oh my lord, the features. This has fifth wheel features in something that is under 30 feet. Again, I think it hits that 29 foot 11 inch mark. That's a sweet spot a lot of manufacturers have tackled. But to give us a private king bedroom, that amazing weather package, standard auto leveling, an RV warranty for full time RVing, and some of the most just insane storage capacity for a trailer that size. It's nuts how much capacity that thing has. That is a camper I could, I mean, just all day long, I could see myself in and I could see myself loving. Yes, I've been waiting for one of these. Only 6,550 pounds, and I really stress that only, because when you see all the features you get in a 26 RBS Cougar here at Halet RV, only feels like the right kind of word. We have things like In Command, a very well-rated hot cold camping package, a warranty for full-time RVing, and all of that wrapped up well within the realm of half ton towability. This is one of those things that should be on your radar if you're looking for that last RV you ever plan to own. And finally, our top pick for couples campers under 30 feet. I kind of sort of mention them in my couples campers over 30 feet as honorable mentions. And that is, again, a two-way tie. But the 2608 BS Rockwood Ultralight and the 259 FK BS Freedom Express. I, again, they, they, they do so many similar things. They're just under 30 feet. They have a living room super slide, windshield, and bedroom slide out somehow squeezed under 30 feet. Potential half ton towability. Some half tons may not handle them. You might be up in that three quarter range for sure. But they each had a couple things that I just love. The Rockwood has full travel accessibility with the slides closed because as a second entry door into the bedroom, you can get to anything and everything through that. Whereas the Freedom Express, it's carpetless, and it has a camp kitchen and a king bed. And I, I couldn't pick. I couldn't pick just one. So I want to give you a look at one of the two. And then once again, there's going to be a link in the video description to check out the other one. Fantastic. Best, best generation of Freedom Express yet. 259 front kitchen rear king bed slide land in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And although she has some travel functionality, this one is definitely best enjoyed at a destination. Completely carpetless. And I like that they're making their slide floor match the main floor. It's so seamless looking. It makes the whole RV look and feel larger. Theater seating that we like to put in these. 
because you are directly on what I call Boardwalk and Park Place, straight across from the Entertainment Center. But, but there's also a massive either walk-in pantry or closet or combination right behind that. And if we take a look and open all that up, standard bed in this is a 70 by 80 king bed. So queen is not standard, king is not optional. That's just how these are built. And then as we come over to this opposing wall, you can see uh, this big closet space here with excellent storage capacity. A lot of people are really interested in Asdell uh, using RVs today. Freedom Express, Coachman, they're basically like the original Asdell camper. They were using it way before it was cool, before people even knew what it was. What you'll see down here is an enclosed heated underbelly, giving us some uh, pretty good extended season functionality. This is all set up for one heck of a patio party. And I don't always have the chance, but today I did, so I popped that awning open so you could really appreciate everything going on over here on the patio. A departure from the previous generations of Freedom Express. You see that nice little sunbeam griddle over there next to the camp kitchen. So what do you think, guys? That is, that is a stacked deck. Again, not just the top five, but with those honorable mentions. There's, that, the, the, the couples camping under 30 foot segment, I think is stronger now than it's ever been in history. And uh, the good news about some of these, kind of like me, if, if, if I couldn't decide which one kind of fits the best for me, I think it actually gives you folks at home a really cool opportunity to say, okay, in, in today's market with depleted dealer inventory, which one is available? Because I think you're going to be happy with any of those ties, with any of these units. They're fantastic. Or if they're both available, which one's just the better price for you? Because if it's a 50-50 split, why wait? Or why pay more? And that's not usually something that uh, we present here at Halet RV, but given the current market conditions, I think that that's a perfectly viable way of looking at these, and that might be the tiebreaker for you. But I'd be really curious to know, what do you think about this list? What would you have put on here that maybe I missed? And are there any other top fives that you guys would like to see? I'm crossing my arms a lot today, aren't I? I just kind of became consciously aware of that. Apparently today is cross your arms day in, in RV nerd land. But Regardless of any of that, folks, once again, thank you for all the support. Check those links in the video description. Leave me some comments. Let me know which ones you think are uh, the, your favorites. And if you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button, follow along with us, and show your support. Like the video. And uh, when you're ready, give our family-owned and operated team the chance to work with you. And we sure would appreciate that. That's all we ask in return for all the efforts that we put out here like this. So as always, remember, we don't do hidden dealer fees. We just do everything else. So take care. Stay safe. Have fun and happy Halo camping, everyone.